One of the criteria for selecting an IPS could be virtual patches, which is the ability that they have to stop incoming attacks based on some specific signatures. So for example, if we open this vulnerability in here, uh, when vulnerabilities get published by MITRE, they produce uh, this field called virtual patch IPS IDS, in which it tells you which are the vulnerabilities that uh, can be stopped. Here is the, the brand name, and this is the actual uh, uh, signature that you need to deploy. So some of them have more than others, and, and this can be a good criteria for you to uh, to select which is the, the best vendor. And you can do that in QVM by manipulating all that, all that massive amount of data with this simple criteria here. Vulnerability has a virtual patch from vendor. So let's say I'm comparing, um, I'm going to take just McAfee, which is the, the default there. Uh, take McAfee, add that filter and say, how many of these vulnerabilities can McAfee stop? 739. Okay. Let me perform another search and compare that against uh, snort. Let me scroll down again and select here snort, add the filter, click search, and well you see that number 667. Uh, you, I can say, well, let me see how that compares with IBM, who normally does a very good job in producing lots of uh, virtual patches. So let me actually go scroll down. And this, this will be done with data from your very own network and system, so it will be very, very relevant uh, and specific to your environment. So let me select here IBM, add filter, click search. Hmm. 3,000 and <laughs> you see what I mean? Almost all of them can be actually stopped by the exits. And again, you, you, I encourage you to do this with your own very own data, but the virtual patch is something that um, IBM uh, uh, excels in, in providing you. And should you use it, and, and you can, because when you have attacks, you, you can perform uh, smart searches. Uh, let's say that you, you you want to see which of the vulnerabilities that I have cannot be patched because there's no Microsoft patch, or there's no other patch uh, for them. And there is a criteria here that you say external reference of type, and regardless of whether you have the benefit of using BigFix or not, Curator gets a uh, feed from BigFix Lab that uh, tells you which uh, vulnerabilities it can fix. So I'm going to change the criteria instead of saying equal to Remember, I'm looking for the ones that do not have a patch. And if Bigfix doesn't have a patch, it's because none of it exists. Uh, so um, I'm selecting this one. These are my problematic out of those, almost 4,000 of those. Look at that. 661 do not have a patch. Hmm. Can my IPS help me here? Sure. Let me actually edit that search and actually go here all the way to the button and use that criteria. Vulnerability has a virtual patch from vendor, and let's say, say IBM, and see how many of those 600 of, of vulnerabilities could be stopped. Uh, did I do the search right? Let me edit the search. I think I omitted the first. Yeah, uh, external reference type. Okay, and I did not add the next criteria. Sorry about that. Vulnerability has a virtual patch from vendor. Again, IBM add filter is what I did not do before, and click search. And out of those uh, 600, look at that, 485 I can deal with by telling my IPS guy, hey, deploy these particular signatures to stop that type of attacks. Pretty good. Uh, so 485, Let, let's uh, do some comparison here because again, I'm shopping for, for the best uh, IPS. So I'm gonna edit that search and I'm gonna take this uh, criteria, 485 from IBM and compare it to, uh, and let me select anyone in here, with a patch from vendor equals, uh, I don't know, 
Palo Alto, for example, and at Palo here, and click search, and see what we got. Well, that's a much lower number. No, 485 is much bigger than 33. So in terms of virtual patch, if that's a criteria they are looking, you can actually uh, perform some interesting comparison here.